Chapter 3 And on the six days of the second week we brought, according to the word of God, to Adam all the beasts, and all the cattle, and all the birds, and everything that moves on the earth, and everything that moves in the water, according to their kinds, and according to their types, the beasts on the first day, the cattle on the second day, the birds on the third day, and all that which moves on the earth on the fourth day, and that which moves in the water on the fifth day. And Adam named them all by their respective names, and as he called them, so was their name. And on these five days Adam saw all these, male and female, according to every kind that was on the earth. But he was alone, and found no helpmeet for him. And the Lord said to us, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a helpmeet for him. And the Lord our God caused a deep sleep to fall upon him, and he slept. And he took for the woman one rib from amongst his ribs. And this rib was the origin of the woman from amongst his ribs. And he built up the flesh in its stead, and built the woman. And he awakened Adam out of his sleep, and on awakening he rose on the sixth day, and he brought her to him. And he knew her, and said to her, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called my wife, because she was taken from her husband. Therefore shall man and wife be one, and therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and cleave to his wife, and they shall be one flesh. In the first week was Adam created, and the rib his wife, in the second week he showed her to him. And for this reason the commandment was given to keep in their defilement, for a male seven days, and for a female twice seven days. And after Adam had completed forty days in the land where he had been created, we brought him into the garden of Eden to till and keep it. But his wife they brought in on the eightieth day, and after this she entered into the garden of Eden. And for this reason the commandment is written on the heavenly tablets in regard to her that gives birth, If she bears a male, she shall remain in her uncleanness seven days according to the first week of days and thirty-three days shall she remain in the blood of her purifying. And she shall not touch any hallowed thing, nor enter into the sanctuary, until she accomplishes these days which are enjoined in the case of a male child. But in the case of a female child, she shall remain in her uncleanness two weeks of days, according to the first two weeks, and sixty-six days in the blood of her purification, and they will be in all eighty days. And when she had completed these eighty days, we brought her into the Garden of Eden, for it is holier than all the earth besides, and every tree that is planted in it is holy. Therefore there was ordained regarding her who bears a male or female child the statute of those days, that she should touch no hallowed thing, nor enter into the sanctuary until these days for the male or female child are accomplished. This is the law and testimony which was written down for Israel, in order that they should observe it all the days. And in the first week of the first jubilee, one to seven a.m., Adam and his wife were in the Garden of Eden for seven years, tilling and keeping it. And we gave him work, and we instructed him to do everything that is suitable for tillage. And he tilled the garden, and was naked, and knew it not, and was not ashamed. And he protected the garden from the birds and beasts and cattle, and gathered its fruit, and ate, and put aside the residue for himself and for his wife, and put aside that which was being kept. And after the completion of the seven years which he had completed there, seven years exactly, eight a.m., and in the second month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the serpent came and approached the woman. And the serpent said to the woman, Has God commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And she said to it, 
Of all the fruit of the trees of the garden, God has said to us, Eat. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said to us, You shall not eat thereof, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said to the woman, You shall not surely die, for God does know that on the day that you shall eat thereof, your eyes will be opened, and you will be as gods, and you will know good and evil. And the woman saw the tree, that it was agreeable and pleasant to the eye, and that its fruit was good for food, and she took thereof and ate. And when she had first covered her shame with fig leaves, she gave thereof to Adam, and he ate. And his eyes were opened, and he saw that he was naked. And he took fig leaves and sewed them together and made an apron for himself and covered his shame. And God cursed the serpent and was angry with it forever. And he was angry with the woman, because she hearkened to the voice of the serpent and ate. And he said to her, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your pains. In sorrow shall you bring forth children, and your return shall be to your husband, and he will rule over you. And to Adam also he said, Because you have hearkened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat thereof, cursed be the ground for your sake. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you, and you shall eat your bread in the sweat of your face, till you return to the earth from where you were taken. For earth you are, and to earth shall you return. And he made for them coats of skin, and clothed them, and sent them forth from the Garden of Eden. And on that day on which Adam went forth from the garden, he offered as a sweet savor an offering, frankincense, galbanum, stacked, and spices in the morning with the rising of the sun from the day when he covered his shame. And on that day was closed the mouth of all beasts, and of cattle, and of birds, and of whatever walks, and of whatever moves so that they could no longer speak. For they had all spoken, one with another, with one lip, and with one tongue. And he sent out of the Garden of Eden all flesh that was in the Garden of Eden, and all flesh was scattered according to its kinds, and according to its types, to the places which had been created for them. And to Adam alone did he give the wherewithal to cover his shame of all the beasts and cattle. On this account it is prescribed on the heavenly tablets as touching all those who know the judgment of the law that they should cover their shame and should not uncover themselves as the Gentiles uncover themselves. And on the new moon of the fourth month Adam and his wife went forth from the Garden of Eden and they dwelt in the land of Elda in the land of their creation. And Adam called the name of his wife Eve. And they had no son till the first jubilee, 8 a.m., and after this he knew her. Now he tilled the land as he had been instructed in the Garden of Eden 